Tulsa, Oklahoma. You have glass of plastic? Jeannie Casey and Debbie Ellison are two liquor store clerks who know their limits. If it ever comes to facing a holdup, they're not looking to be heroes. 8.95. We were talking about what if something ha would happen, you know, like somebody wouldn't come in to rob the store. And we both agreed, man, we'd give the money. You know, I would, she would. But no sooner do they make the pact than their mild-mannered resolve is put to the test. Danny Carter, an ex-con with a history of armed robbery, enters the store. He just looked like a normal everyday person, not threatening or anything with that nature. Carter shoves his hand into his pocket and demands cash. What have you got there? And he says, I've got a gun. She knew then he was serious. But when Carter turns away to keep an eye on Jeannie, he accidentally reveals that he's not holding a gun at all. It's only a hair comb. That's when Jeannie and Debbie undergo a heroic transformation from damsels in distress to feminine furies. As he turned around, that's when I decided I wasn't giving him the money. And with her eyes, she's like going like this and like, go for it, Jeannie. And I knew then I had to do it. Jeannie delivers a bottle to the burglar's head. Stunned, Carter spins back around, only to be met with another blow from Debbie. Disoriented, Carter wields his phony weapon. But it's no match for two angry women. Swinging 80 proof justice. Beaten, bloodied, and humiliated, Carter retreats with Jeannie and Debbie in pursuit. The hard headed felon is soon back behind bars, thanks to a pair of feisty co workers who didn't even know they had it in them.